For this assignment, our group has set out deep into the bush to find one of the most poisonous animals in Australia. This animal could be anywhere at any time, and death ensues wherever it chooses to roam. Extreme caution needs to be taken when dealing with an animal as deadly as this. Alright, so we just walked up to the most poisonous animal in all of Australia. It's right here, I gotta grab it right behind the head. Oh. Right here we have the <laughs> famous Australian cane toad. <laughs> cane toads in Australia are what's known as an invasive species. In 1935, they were introduced to North Queensland in an attempt to control the population of cane beetles that were having negative effects on sugar cane production. Cane toads excrete a highly toxic poison when threatened, leading to the death of both pets and native predators. Since their introduction, their numbers have skyrocketed with estimates as high as 200 million. The spread of cane toads has seen significant effects on native species within Australia. Australia lacks a natural poisonous toad or frog. The results for our clueless native species? Death. In the Northern Territory, studies have shown that 31% of coals have died due to lethal injection from these toads, stopping the invasion. A plan has been devised by the Australian government known as the Waterless Barrier. There is an area found from Broome to Port Hedlands where the sandy desert almost meets the coast. By capping off all dams and wells, the species should be stopped dead in its tracks, as it requires moisture every three to four days for survival. The costs involved for the waterless barrier include $4.5 million over a period of 50 years, which will see the exclusion of toads from all water bodies along this rough terrain. This toad is just one example of an invasive species worldwide. There are countless more like cats, pigs, pythons, mussels, plants, and fungi that are damaging the environment, economy, and beauty of our natural world. You can help by abiding regulations at borders, washing outdoor equipment after travel, keeping pets inside, and landscaping using native species. Lastly, if you find a non-native species, report it. Together, we can help limit the spread of invasive species and their environmental effects. Thanks for watching.